Hello everyone, my name is Anna Strzelec and as a customer success specialist, I help Cisco DNA customers to move smoothly through the deployment phases and save time on resolving their network challenges. In this DNA Center video, I will show you how to verify telemetry, check overall network and client assurance details, and we are also going to take a look at the issues remediation. Sounds interesting? Are you ready to start? We will start this video with verifying the network telemetry on our Cisco DNA Center. In order to go to the network telemetry page, you have to click on the tools and then choose the network telemetry out of it to land on this page. First of all, you can see that from the profile view, there are already three profiles by default uh, in the Cisco DNA Center. The maximal visibility has included syslog on informational level and application visibility, and optimal visibility has only syslog as the capabilities. If you wish to customize the profile, you basically have to add profile and then you can decide whether you want the syslog and, what, um, and on what level, as well as application visibility. After creating your customized profile, you have to go to the site view where you will have to assign that profile to the device. In order to do it, you simply mark the device on the list and from the actions you are choosing the telemetry profile that you would like to assign the device to. Note that you don't have to do it for the wireless LAN controller as it's using the streaming telemetry that's being configured when the device is discovered. At this point of the video, your telemetry profiles should be already assigned to the devices and this means that we are able to gather the telemetry data from the devices and see the information about them in the Assurance tab. So let's click on the Assurance in the Cisco DNA Center menu and first of all what we can see is overall health and here you will be able to see information about network devices as well as wired and wireless clients. We are able to see what is the current state of the network devices and what is the total amount of those devices that are managed by Cisco DNA Center. The health is divided by the device role. For the wired and wireless clients, we can also see the percentage of them in the healthy state, as well as the number of the connected and active clients. If we scroll down, we will be able to see top 10 issues types, meaning the issues that are most frequently uh, encountered in the network. If we change the dashboard view to the network health, we will be able to see more information about our network devices. First of all, you will be able to see that the health of the device is connected to the color within the Cisco DNA Center dashboard. Green color indicates that device is in the good health and the health score of those devices is between 8 and 10. The yellow means that device is in the first health and that health score is between 4 and 7. Poor health of device is when the health score is between 1 and 3 and is displayed in the red color. If we scroll down, we will be able to see more information about the network devices that are in our network and those here are filtered um, by the poor health. Uh, we will be able to see the device name, the model of the device, software version that is running, IP address and the health score. If we now 
move to the client health we will be able to see more information about our clients we are able to see how many percent how many percentage of the clients are in the healthy state what is the total amount of the clients and um, how many of those active clients are onboarded on or not onboarded if it comes to the wireless clients and then also how many of those onboarded have actually good fair connectivity or any authentication issues that they might be encountered. The same for the wired clients, but it, in this scenario we can see that almost all of the onboarded clients have a good connectivity. We are able to have more statistics, more information about the wireless clients such as uh, client onboarding times, uh, connectivity RSSI, roaming times or how many clients we have per SSID. Um, if we scroll down, we are also able to see information about our wireless clients, including IP address, device type, health of those clients, um, the access point that they are connected to, associated with, and the band that they are working on. We can also have a look at the wired clients once we change the filter itself. In the last part of this video, we will take a look at the issue remediation that Cisco DNA Center is providing apps. In order to have a look at it, we're going to move to the um, issues dashboard and we're going to have a look at all the open issues that are within our Cisco DNA Center. First of all, we are able to see um, the issues that were happening within the last 24 hours in our Cisco DNA Center. Um, let's have a look at one of those issues to actually see what we can have there. First of all, if I click on the issue to have more information, I will be able to see that this issue is connected to that device. And this is the exact device type that is encountering this issue. We can see how many times the issue has occurred and what was the last time that the issue has occurred. If I mark that issue, I will be able to proceed with an action. So I can mark it as resolve if it's no longer valid for us, or I can simply ignore that issue and DNA Center won't be giving me any more information about the reoccurrences. However, if I want to have a look of what we can do to troubleshoot that issue. If we click on that specific issue, we can see that uh, Cisco DNA Center is giving us some suggested actions. So basically the information on how to start the troubleshooting of the issue. So as you can probably notice, some of those suggested action has the run button next to it. And if we expand the issue, we can see um, that this suggested action has the comments, uh, it has a suggestion of the comments to, to be collected on that particular issue. And normally you would have to go to the device CLI to, to actually collect it. But in this case, we can simply click the run button to get those information fetched by the Cisco, by Cisco DNA Center from the device and you can analyze it straight away here on the user interface. We reached the end of this video. I hope you find here some practical tips and inspirations for your Cisco DNA Center journey. Check also other related videos and resources I recommend for you in the description below. Good luck and goodbye for now.